Each May, humpback and southern right whales in the southern hemisphere migrate north to warmer subtropical waters to breed and then return in November with their offspring to the southern or Antarctic Ocean. During these months, Australians and visitors from around the world enjoy whale watching on Australia's coast as families of the gentle giants swim by. Welcome brave viewers to Animal World our co-inhabitants. Today we'll visit the Steve Irwin flagship of Australia's Sea Shepherd Conservation Society to speak to crew members about their mission to protect the noble whales. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society is a non-profit environmental group founded in 1977 by vegan captain Paul Watson of Canada to safeguard whales and other marine life. In keeping with the Society's desire to preserve all life on Earth, only vegan meals are served on its vessels. We will lose more species of plants and animals between 1980 and 2045 than we have lost in the last 65 million years. That rate of extinction is unprecedented and we as one species are responsible for that. The oceans are dying in our time and if the navies of the world had any sense of responsibility they'd be protecting the oceans. The problem is that we have all of the rules, the regulations and treaties we need to protect the world's oceans and marine wildlife in them, but we don't have any enforcement. For many years, the Society has gone to the Antarctic to defend whales from whaling fleets. Captain Alex Cornelesson of the Steve Irwin describes his experiences in the polar region. We see a lot of beautiful things because we go to Antarctica, there's icebergs, penguins, whales, orcas. It's all fantastic, you know. We see a lot of beautiful things. We also see a lot of bad things. We see the destruction that takes place in the oceans. We see illegal long lines. We see the whalers. So it's a very uh, difficult job at, at times and it's also a very pleasant job because you get to go to places where nobody goes. But in reality, the oceans are dying and we need to uh, step up the measures to protect the oceans. And we're not doing enough presently. Yeah, we really need to improve uh, conservation of the planet in order to save it. Over the last three years, the Sea Shepherd's Antarctic Whale Defence Campaign has saved 1,305 whales. In appreciation of the Australian people's continued support of their work, the Society is calling its sixth Antarctic Whale Defence Campaign, which begins on December 7, 2009, Operation Walsing Matilda, after Australia's unofficial national anthem. During the campaign, whales will be safeguarded from whaling ships that operate illegally in the Antarctic Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. The Australian public have been absolutely amazing. The idea about the uh, tour that we're presently undertaking was to thank the Australian public for their uh, support over the years. Never have we seen so much support as that we're seeing here in Australia. Starting in early October 2009, the Steve Irwin began visiting Australia's coastal cities, with its first stop being Brisbane, followed by a trip to Sydney. At each of its stops, the Society kindly invites the Australian public to board the Steve Irwin, where visitors can look around the ship and talk to the crew to learn what it's like living and working on the vessel. Let's now hear from some visitors to the Steve Irwin when the ship was docked in Sydney. I just got some more information. I've been following their work quite a bit, but it was interesting to see the actual ship. I learned that they do a very good job protecting the whales and not only the whales but the seas and they are very passionate for what they do and I would like to be a volunteer on this trip. We asked the Steve Irwin's crew members to relate some of their experiences while sailing the seas and protecting marine life. 
This is the ship Spotswain Dan, a vegan. We've had some amazing things. We've seen uh, beautiful icebergs and wonderful sunsets and some amazing wildlife. But really I think the highlight has been um, finding the whaling fleet in Antarctica, all of them together and uh, all of them separating and running away from us and stopping whaling. So it's that uh, feeling of doing something really successful, really effective and protecting whales. We've been on this ship chasing after the Nishimaru, the factory ship, and we've had whales swimming alongside our ship that would have been killed if we hadn't been there and that's a really, really good feeling. When we return in a few moments, we'll meet some more Steve Irwin crew members who are all part of the upcoming Operation Walsing Matilda. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. The Sea Shepherd Conservation Society is a non-profit environmental group that protects whales, seals, sharks and other marine species around the globe. Beginning on December 7, 2009, its flagship, the Steve Irwin, will participate in the Society's sixth Antarctic Whale Defence Campaign during which whales will be defended from whaling ships that operate illegally in the Antarctic Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. Potsy, one of the Steve Irwin's heroic vegan crew members, works in the deck department, specifically with the ship's helicopter. We asked him to offer his insights on the state of the Antarctic region's marine environment. With this campaign, we're heading down to the Southern Oceans to try and protect whales down there. Uh, but at the same time, there's this huge krill fishery down in Antarctica, making protein pellets for farmed fish. It takes six to seven kilos of wild caught fish to produce just one kilo of Atlantic salmon in a farm. Uh, so the balance is totally out of whack. And also a lot of the protein pellets goes to domestic pigs, chickens, cattle in factory farms. And so we've turned the whole food web upside down and um, yeah, it's, it is never going to work um, and I think if more people realise that um, they'd think of twice before picking things up in the supermarket. Yeah. All Sea Shepherd ships serve only vegan meals on board. We've uh, run the ship as a vegetarian vessel for many years, but only since 2000 as a vegan vessel. So we have no uh, dairy products, no animal products at all, and it works quite well. We, we, you don't have to be a vegan to join the ship, but you are a vegan while you're on the ship. And we try to set an example. People get to experience it. And if you can run a ship on a vegan diet, then you can certainly do it at home. Another way in which the Steve Irwin's crew members convey the need to preserve all life on Earth is through ship tours. I really enjoy uh, coming to port and having people come on board. Uh, you can start talking to them about what we do and you can see people really start thinking about what you're saying and you can see them changing halfway through the tour and then we get to the point where we mention uh, it's a vegan ship and I always say well I was a vegan before I joined the ship and uh, I just want to extend my ethics to all creatures. I'm sure a lot of people go home thinking about what they've seen and what they've heard during their visit, so it's really great. Here are some eco messages the Steve Irwin's crew members wish to give our viewers. we think it would be quite hypocritical to go and save whales and then eat cows. And obviously we don't eat seafood because the oceans are just collapsing around us and we don't believe that it's sustainable to take 
um, anything from the ocean. I'm Laura Dakin from the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. Be veg, go green and save the planet. There's a lot of talk these days about sustainable fishing um, and really it's a falsehood, there's no such thing. The oceans are becoming like deserts and so we should avoid eating fish altogether. And uh, really being vegan is very important. Actually the biggest consumer of fish uh, in today's world is uh, pigs and chickens. Uh, the fish get turned into pig feed and chicken feed and uh, really it's that meat industry that's making the deserts in the ocean. And so, you know, becoming vegan or vegetarian is a very big step forward in protecting the environment and uh, trying to make sure that life is able to continue to be sustained on this planet. My name's Dan, uh, I'm the boatswain on the Steve Irwin. Uh, be veg, go green, save the planet. We should look at our choices of what we consume and what we support and uh, extend empathy to all creatures. Um, no matter what their size. My name's Stephen and I'm the third engineer aboard the uh, Sea Shepherd vessel Steve Irwin and I'd like to say to you, be veg, go green and save the planet. Hi, I'm Potsy from the uh, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. Um, be veg, go green and save the planet. My name's Captain Alex Cornelissen, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm the uh, captain of the Steve Irwin, the flagship of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and I would like to say, be veg, go green, save the planet. We'd like to convey our sincere thanks to the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and the crew of the Steve Irwin for being beacons of light in the world, for protecting our magnificent whales and other precious marine life, and for spreading the messages of peace and the vegan diet. May their work continue to be graced with love and protection from heaven. For more details on the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, please visit www.seashepherd.org. Peaceful viewers, thank you for joining us on this edition of Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May peace, love and light fill your days. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash AW.